Hello, Jamalf here and in this video me and Fat Sun Pro will show you how to farm titanite slabs and titanite chunks in Dark Souls. When you are farming you want to have 410 item discovery by having either the gold serpent ring or the symbol of Avaris on and then soft humanity. I prefer to have the gold serpent ring on and I also want usually go under 25% load so I can run faster and I have the crest crest shield on so I can uh, run a bit longer. So we are starting from the Firelink Shrine bonfire and run down to New Londo ruins. You need to have the water lowered in the New Londo ruins because we are killing the dark braids in the lower New Londo ruins. Always make sure that the elevator is up here. When you are going down, you can wait until the, that elevator switch pops up and then run over it so the elevator gets back up when, uh, when you go for the next round. There we go, then run over it. And we can hear it leaving. In addition to uh, 410 item discovery, you uh, need to have, or it's easier if you have some way to one-shot kill the Dark Braids. A lightning weapon is good. I have Lightning Lucerne plus 5 here. Um, I think maybe a plus 3 or plus 4 would be enough, depending a bit on the weapon and your stats. If you have upgraded your Pyromancy Flame, uh, Great Fireball or Great Chaos Fireball are good. Uh, if you have joined the Chaos Servant, you can have the, have the latter one. And um, when you are fighting these guys, don't hit them when they have that black protection thing on. Just wait patiently, go behind them and backstab them. I think they are somewhat weak to, uh, to lightning, so uh, that's why I recommend a lightning weapon. But any weapon that you can one-shot one kill them with a parry or backstab is good. If you are confident, go for parries, but uh, I like to backstab them. If they uh, if they use that black uh, black protection thing, I usually uh, throw throw uh, throw a great fireball at them. The titanite slabs are extremely rare. If you are lucky, you will get one in half an hour, but it might take three hours, it might take six hours, it might even take longer. You might suddenly get four in one one run. It's uh, it's always always random. Okay, I'm tired of you. I have the Ascended, Ascended Pyromancy Flame plus 5, um, I'm not sure what would be enough, maybe a, maybe plus 15 normal one would be enough, but uh, I'm not sure. Here, run all the way to here and then turn back. Some uh, ghosts will come at you, so you don't want to fight them, instead uh, lure two of these guys out here. And uh, it's a bit tricky when there's two of them, but uh, here especially the Great Fireball will help, because you might... Uh, if you, uh, if you time it right, you will get them both. And uh, even if they put that black protection wave thing on, a great fireball will kill them. Unless you miss. Don't let that uh, white, white shiny thing attack get you. That will uh, drain you one humanity. And, uh, it's quite easy to dodge it. From here, run back to the stairs. This is where we dropped from, uh, from up there. And uh, in this area, if you are careful, you can walk from about these stairs to the, to the right side. Or actually, you can't because that guy saw me. So uh, usually just, just run to this guy and, uh, and kill him. If you are confident, you can always parry these guys, but um, backstabs are usually, usually safer. And then uh, dealing with the guys here and these ones, they sometimes, sometimes get stuck there and... Uh, stuck there in their uh, boots, but uh, a couple of hits from a good lightning weapon uh, will deal with them, so you don't even have to go for backstabs. But they do have some powerful attacks, so if you are new to this, uh, put some put armor on that gives you some poise, because they can hurt you quite badly if you uh, if you get hit. If you have some poise, you can power through them and uh, just just deal the, deal the blows to kill them. When you are running this way, uh, stop running and start walking around these stairs. You can uh, experiment a bit uh, how far you can run and you can easily backstab this guy so uh, without uh, too much trouble. And then uh, lastly, going, going to this side, again stop running and uh, then start walking around this doorway. 
but I ran a bit too far, so this guy turned around. Doesn't matter, I will just go behind him and backstab. And after this, uh, either use a homeward, homeward miracle or homeward bone to return home. And that's my first Titanite slap in three hours. <laughs> oh, it's pays off the rec recorded tutorial. <laughs> awesome. So, to summarize, start from Prowling Shrine, um, shrine uh, Bonfire, run down. Run down to the elevator, have 410 uh, item discovery. Have some weapon to easily kill the Dark Raids. And then uh, just rinse and repeat. The reason why I did that elevator trick is that uh, it speeds up a lot when you come here and the elevator is back up and you can run to it. And then uh, I can hear waiting here on the elevator until the elevator switch pops up and then uh, go at it again. I hope you found this uh, this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I also have um, Dark Souls Let's Play on my channel and when Dark Souls 2 is out there will be Dark Souls 2 videos as well. And I have over uh, 1400 videos at the time I'm recording this in there for other games, uh, let's plays, so uh, do check them out if you uh, if you like my stuff. And uh, of course, on this video, if you have some comments, post them uh, post them right there under this video. Hit the like button if you uh, if you think the others will enjoy this, this as well, and uh, tell your friends. And with that, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.